welcome to this belly dance workout. Today you're with me in Los Angeles in the amazing Aloe Yoga. So if you haven't been, definitely check it out. It's one of my favorite places to do yoga. But today we're gonna to be learning belly dancing. Okay, so what we're gonna do is start with a full body warm up. If you just start with rolling the shoulders back, soften your knees, take those legs nice and back, trying to hit your glutes. And at the same time, what you wanna do is squeeze up into your obliques and keep smiling. Four seconds, draw, three, two, one. Lovely, from here, swish your arms up and then take them back into the chest. Lift, reach, take it back into the chest, a little bit faster. As always, just go at your own pace, so it doesn't really matter if you're joining in with me or you feel like going a little bit slower or faster. <laughs> Four more. And hold, jump out to the side. You can get a hip to one side, stretch it. Hip to the other side, stretch it. Stretch. And double time. Rotate the wrists all the way around. And take them in towards you. And back forward. And back out to the side. This time we're gonna do a big hip circle all the way around. Make sure you're getting that really nice stretch behind the legs as well. When you're coming forward, keep that as a flat back. And the other side, take it back flat. So making sure your sides, your hips, your legs are feeling really nice and warm before you begin this workout. Lovely, take it in. Small jump to the side, small jump to the side, small jump to the side, small jump. We're gonna do a bit faster. Jump. So these are kind of hops, which you won't see that much in belly dancing, but you might, especially in my workout. You get Saidi hops, for instance, but this time it's just to get our heart rates up. Okay, let's begin. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do here is step forward and hip comes up. The hip is coming up diagonally, so you wanna do is squeeze the glutes while you're hitting the hip up, and high in front of you. The foot comes forward, right in front, squeeze all the way diagonally to the air. Let's just try that on one side. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. One more, four, three, two, one. Let's try the other side. Squeeze, this is up and diagonal the other direction. Make sure you're squeezing the same glute of the foot that's coming forward. Two, one, let's go four in a row. Four, three, two, one, lovely. Take it into an Egyptian shimmy. If you don't know what an Egyptian shimmy is, I'm just gonna go through it first for you here. Soften the knees, shoulders back, pelvis tucked under slightly. So what I wanna do is start by having one knee bent, switching to the other knee bent. Bend, bend, bend. Then, as you go faster, you might feel like you want to straighten that leg, but what we want to do is keep it soft the entire time. That way you won't injure your knees. And as you keep going faster, which might take a lot of practice, what's going to happen is your belly is going to move side to side. Can you see? So make sure you have a mirror so you can see if you're getting this movement. If it takes some time, give your body a lot of time to practice this because it is not natural. <laughs> Hold it there. Four, three. Two, one, lovely. So the first move is gonna be one hip with your fisted hand. So you step, and with the fist, as you squeeze the glute, the hand touches the hip. Try the other side. Step, squeeze, together. Step, squeeze, together. Step, squeeze, together. One, I don't really mind where the other hand is. <laughs> From here, we're gonna jump to the side. Jump, and we tuck in, chest comes up, we release the pelvis. Jump, tuck, the pelvis under, release the pelvis, chest slightly comes up. Jump, tuck, release. Jump, tuck, release. 
jump, tuck, release, jump, tuck, release, jump, tuck, release, jump, tuck, release. Okay, don't worry, we don't have to do too many of them. <laughs> so we're going to start from the top, squeeze, together, squeeze, together, jump and tuck, jump, tuck, release. <laughs> okay, now, if you are new to shimmies, don't worry, you can stay in this position. Otherwise, if you're willing to give yourself quite a challenge, we're going to do a one leg shimmy, which means it's vibrating by itself, and take the arm all the way across. Now, it can vibrate by itself, or you can use both legs, but you're wider than your usual shimmy. So what's going to happen is we're just going to lead the shimmy with our hand, and then take it to the other side. Lean, lean. And then we got a flick. Four, three, two, one. From the top. How's that feel? Let's do it again. Hip, hip, jump, jump, shimmy, shimmy, cross, turn around. That is a really easy last step. All we're going to do here is cross the leg over the other leg. Keep your balance, make sure you're spotting. So you're looking at me, turn around swiftly, and then you're back to spotting where you were before. So what we're gonna do is just take it from that shimmy, shimmy, turn around. Very nice. From here, last move is an omi. So basically we're doing a hip circle. Your hip takes to the side, we squeeze in, take to the side, Pelvis out. Side, tuck the pelvis. Side, release the pelvis. Side, tuck the pelvis. Side, release the... Lovely. Now, as we smooth that around, what happens is we create an only, which is a circle. And it's kind of a circle on the diagonal. And what I want you to do is just find your favorite side and then try the other side. Four, three, two, one. And with your hands, you can kind of feel what feels a bit more comfortable and it gets you used to the movement, so you might need a little bit more practice about this one. And how we add that is we turn around here and then straight into the only. Turn around, straight into the only. One more time. Turn around, straight into the only. Okay, we're going to take that all the way from the top slowly and then we're going to go through it a few times and then that's entirely done for you. <laughs> Let's begin. Hip together, hip together, jump and tuck, jump, tuck, release, shimmy, shimmy, flip, shimmy, shimmy, flick, cross, swift turn, oh me, oh me, okay, let's try that in time with the beat, with the music, four seconds, four, three, two, let's begin, hit, hit, jump and tuck, jump and tuck, shimmy, 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 turn, oh me, okay, did you get it? <laughs> If you didn't, don't worry, you can go back, go over it a few times. We're going to go through it again and again and yet three more times, that's all. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Again. One more time. And give yourself a shimmy. And give yourself a shimmy. And then give yourself a clap. <laughs> well done, I hope you all those moves. I realize that some of them are quite advanced, but you know what, if you practice and you do it, you're gonna get it eventually. If you have any questions, have any comments, just leave them below and I'll be sure to get back to it as soon as possible. Anyway, bye for now. I will see you in my next workout.